Kevsereti, Georgian, Kevsereti a land of valleys, is a historical ethnographic region in eastern Georgia. They are the branch of Kartvelian, Georgian, people located along both the northern Pirakita Kevsereti, Georgian, Pirakita Kevsereti and southern Pirakita Kevsereti, Georgian, Pirakita Kevsereti slopes of the Great Caucasus Mountains. Topic: <laughs> Geography Comprising the small river valleys of the Mi'kmaqevi, Shatili, Arkhati, and the Arigva, the province borders with Chechnya and is included in the present day Dusheti municipality, Mts Keta Mtianeti region. Kevsereti, with the area of approximately 405.3 square miles, 1050 square kilometers, is traversed by the main crest of the Greater Caucasus Range, dividing the province in two unequal parts. Pirakita Kevsereti, thither is a larger one, with the area of c. 565 square kilometers, while Pirakita Kevsereti, hither, occupies 428 square kilometers. The largest villages are Barisako and Shatili. Ethnography <inaudible> 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 The territory of Kevsereti, together with the neighboring area of Peshavi was known to medieval writers under the joint designation P.K. Hovi or in the Georgian language Pikahovi. Chronicler Leonti Moroveli mentions that after the conversion of the King Mirian III of Iberia and the Queen Nana into Christianity in the early 4th century, Saint Nino continued to preach among Georgian highlanders, Mtiolni Mtiolni including P.K. Hovi. Medieval Georgia was never able to establish a typical feudal system. The civil code of the community remained based on the ancient traditions and values. Children of the noble families and lords were brought up by the families of peasants, Glecki Glecki, who were known for their wisdom and human qualities. These people introduced youth to their culture, history, traditions, and all aspects of human knowledge and experiences based on Christian Orthodox values. See Georgian Orthodox and Apostolic Church. Historically, Georgian Highlander communities enjoyed a degree of autonomy. Kevsars never accepted local lords, they elected their leaders or Kevisberi, Kevisberi elder and council of elders and submitted themselves only to the monarch see list of the kings of Georgia. They were exceptional warriors with traditional Georgian qualities of courage, openness and honesty, fraternity, independence and love of freedom, who were often promoted as royal bodyguards. Kings regarded them as reliable guardians of the Caucasus Mountains and the northern border of the kingdom. In the battles Kevsars wore flags adorned with crosses and considered themselves permanent members of the Army of the Sacred Flags and Guardians of Georgian Kings. There has been a suggestion, coming from the locals and descriptions by Russian serviceman and ethnographer Arnold Zisserman who spent 25 years 1842 during Russian expansion in the Caucasus see Georgia within the Russian Empire, that these Georgian Highlanders were descendants of the last European Crusaders because their folk culture, the material, social, and religious practices, resembled those of the Crusaders. Zisserman also writes that concerning their origin the Kevsars have preserved a tradition, they consider a certain man by the name of Gudaneli as their first ancestor. He was a peasant vassal of a landlord in Kakheti, and to escape punishment for some crime which he had committed, he found refuge in the P. Shav village of Apshu. From his two sons, Araboli and Chinchara, originated the family of Araboli, consisting of 320 homes, and the family of Chincharauli, with 210 homes. American traveler Richard Halliburton (1900–1939) saw and recorded the customs of the Kevsar tribe in 1935. Kevsars are mentioned in Greek, Roman, and Georgian sources before the formation of European Crusades, and the pure Crusader origin of Kevsars is not supported by most modern scholars. The Kevsar men, dressed in chain mail and armed with broadswords, wore garments full of decoration made up of crosses and icons, which served as a means of protection according to Christianity which they adopted early in 4th century. Greek historian Herodotus c. 484 c. 425 BC notes that the Caucasian highlanders of that time, were brilliant knitters and embroiders of their dress or choka, which wore out but never faded from frequent usage. Young girls started knitting at the age of six to seven, but men studying in military training, because according to their tradition women were deprived from education and higher social status. They had a strict system of physical training in martial arts preserved as a credoli martial art, and which is a part of the rich Georgian military tradition. 
Kevsar dance is also preserved in the national dances as a warrior dance Kevsaruli. Religion Their religion is a unique mixture of Georgian Orthodox Christianity and pre-Christian cults. They worship sacred places locally known as Jvari cross, Kadi icon, or Salatsavi sanctuary. Aside from their religious character, these were the sites where the locals discussed and decided common matters such as raids against enemies, peacemaking, appeals of various characters, etc. Even during the Soviet period, with its harsh restrictions against any religious activities, each year the Georgian Highlanders gathered with a group of elder priests and performed their traditional rituals. <laughs> <laughs> Historical population figures As of the 1873 census, Kevsareti had the population of 4,872. By 1926, the population shrank to 3,885. Figures from the Russian Imperial Census of 1873 given in Dr. Gustav Rad's Die Chuoren und IHR Land Ein monographischer Versich Untersuch im Sommer 1876, published by Castle in 1878, divide the villages of Kevsareti into eight communities. The Barisako community, 16 villages, 298 households, consisting of 723 men and 718 women, totaling 1,441 souls. The Guli community, 8 villages, 162 households, consisting of 335 men and 356 women, totaling 691 souls. The Roshka community, 7 villages, 145 households, consisting of 335 men and 315 women, totaling 648 souls. The Batsaligo community, 9 villages, 131 households, consisting of 296 men and 288 women, totaling 584 souls. The Akeli community, 5 villages, 111 households, consisting of 273 men and 240 women, totaling 513 souls. The Shatili community, 5 villages, 121 households, consisting of 252 men and 272 women, totaling 524 souls. The Ardati community, 3 villages, 86 households, consisting of 198 men and 249 women, totaling 447 souls. The Tolent Sopeli community, 8 villages, 197 households, consisting of 555 men and 593 women, totaling 1,148 souls 1873 total, 61 villages, 1,251 households, consisting of 2,967 men and 3,029 women, in all 5,996 souls. These figures can be compared with those given in Sergi Makalesh's Kevsareti Tbilisi, 1935, in Georgian. The Barisako community, 14 villages, 241 households, consisting of 467 men and 539 women, totaling 1,006 souls. The Batsaligo community, 19 villages, 291 households, consisting of 547 men and 639 women, totaling 1,186 souls. The Shatili community, 12 villages, 233 households, consisting of 528 men and 572 women, totaling 1,100 souls. The Arkhati community, 3 villages, 78 households, consisting of 123 men and 133 women, totaling 256 souls 1935, total, 43 villages, 769 households, consisting of 1,492 men and 1,668 women, in all 3,160 souls. There are, of course, many reasons for which a comparison of these two censuses would be a tricky and to some extent pointless exercise. For what it is worth, however, such a comparison does confirm a process of rural exodus during the late 19th and early 20th centuries whereby the Kevsars seem to have abandoned isolated or higher altitude settlements and moved down valley to live in villages benefiting from more clement climatic conditions or perhaps even to live in towns further afield. 
Although these figures must of course be taken with a pinch of salt in the sense that they are based upon data whose reliability is unproven and debatable to say the least, a comparison between the two years 1873 and 1935 reveals a 14% drop in the average number of men per household, an 8% drop in the average number of women per household, an 8% drop in the average number of households families per village, a 19% drop in the average number of inhabitants per village, and a 35% decrease in the region's total population with more isolated regions losing more inhabitants e.g. the Shatili community 42% and the Akili community 50% than the others lower down the valleys. Migration. Some disobedience offered by the Kevsars to the Soviet ideology was a reason for obligatory migration to the plain initiated by the government in 1951. As a result, many high mountainous villages were deserted. Economic hardship of the last two decades also increased a tendency towards migration. Traditions Like other mountainous areas of Georgia, Kevsareti is characterized by a great diversity of traditions and customs. Kevsars speak a local dialect of the Georgian language that resembles the literary Georgian of the Middle Ages and retain many of their ancient traditions, including elements of folk ritual. The institution of the blood feud was still alive in the 20th century. Kevsar music also resembles that of Georgia in the Middle Ages. Kevsareti is famous for its medieval ballads and folk music. The traditional costume of Kevsareti includes a male upper garment called the parangi. While this bears some resemblance to the classic Georgian choka, it is shorter and trapezoidal in shape and features a more powerful color balance and a greater use of cruciform decorative motifs. The architecture of Kevsareti is mostly highly fortified and defensive in character, featuring a profusion of towers clinging to the mountainsides, signifying constant vigilance in the face of enemy attack. The Kevsars were renowned for their warfare with the mostly Muslim peoples of the Northern Caucasus including the Chechens, the Kists, and the many peoples of Dagestan. Due to the geographic, ethnic and religious complexity and lack of industrialization in the Greater Caucasus, it was a common occurrence for the tribes of the North Caucasus to attack and rob mountain-dwelling Georgians. Well-known Georgian poet Vaja Pishavela described the warfare of the Kevsars in his poems. One of the most famous of these is Aluda Ketalori, the eponymous hero of which is a Kevsar youth, famous for his bravery and warrior skills. One day, after the Kevsar village of Shatili, where he lived, had been invaded by the Kists in Gush, in classical Georgian works, despite the name of the modern group of Chechen Georgians in George's name being the Kist. Kist actually referred to the in Gush, the name for Chechens was the Dzerdzuks. However, Ingush were less likely to raid than Chechens due to socio-economic factors, so it may have very well been a Chechen nonetheless. Aluda followed the invaders and killed both of the robbers. However, after killing the Kist called Musa, Aluda began to weep, mourning for the warrior, in recognition of his bravery and dedication to his Muslim faith. When Aluda returned to Shatili he confessed to the villagers his admiration for the Kist hero who had proved such a worthy adversary, but they were shocked at this praising of a pagan and ended by condemning Aluda and expelling him from the community. The Encyclopedia Britannica reported in 1911 that many curious customs still prevailed among the Kevsars, as for instance the imprisonment of the woman during childbirth in a lonely hut, round which the husband parades, firing off his musket at intervals. After delivery, food was surreptitiously brought to the mother, who was kept in her prison a month, after which the hut was burnt. One of the more striking features of the traditional cultures of Kevsareti was the premarital relationship known as Storproba or Satsaba as it is known in Peshavi. A young couple could lie together during the night with a sword placed between them. Sexual intercourse between the pair was strictly forbidden. Any man who breached this rule was condemned to death. Dozens of fortifications, sanctuaries and churches are scattered across the province. Chief of these are the Kakmati Fortress, Akiali Fortress, Labaskari Fortress, Mutso Fortress, Shatili Fortifications, Gudani Cross, and the Anatori Cross. See also Georgian people History of Georgia 
Culture of Georgia. <laughs>